Well, we do receive voicemails here at Core Christianity, and here's one that came in from one of our listeners earlier this week. Hi, Pastor Adriel. I'm so thankful for your program. I love listening to you guys every day. I have a question. My husband and I were watching the news the other day, and we were very saddened to see that there have been 73 mass shootings already, and we're only halfway through February. We read our scripture every day, and we see examples of God being gracious and loving towards his people. But my husband asked the question of, if we're reading that he is a gracious and kind father, how can he allow for bad things to happen to good and innocent people? That's my question. Thanks so much, guys. Yeah. I mean, such, uh, such a tragedy and so heartbreaking. Um, and, and truly, I mean, really at the heart of this question, sister, is you know, how can God allow, if God is good, how can we see so much evil in the world? Look, we don't have, I mean, I mean, the reality is in, in terms of, you know, the specific things that happen, horrible things, we don't have, um, you know, God's just, well, let me tell you exactly why this happened. No, we have what God has revealed to us in his word, which is that he is good and holy and sovereign, and his law condemns sin, the sin of murder, that there is a serious judgment there from the Lord. So God um, is against this, all evil, all sin. But in terms of the why question, a lot of times we don't have the answer to, okay, well, why was this allowed to happen? We, we don't have the answer, that answer, this side of heaven. And so we look to the Lord as the one who calls us to live righteously in accordance with his law, as the one who is indeed good, who calls sinners to repentance. And we recognize right, living in this world that's full of injustice, how desperately we need the hope that God gives. Now, I do think of one text uh, in Luke chapter 13, where Jesus describes uh, really these tragic incidences, um, and, and not just tragic, but but also horrific in, in some ways. He's, he's talking about a group of people who were murdered. And listen to what he says in Luke 13, verse 1. There were some present at that very time who told Jesus about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. In other words, you had a group of Galileans who were going to sacrifice, uh, to, to worship, and Pilate murdered them. And their blood was mingled with the blood of the sacrificial offering. And people were horrified, as you can imagine. I mean, what a, what a great injustice to murder these people in this act of worship. And some people said, well, those people must have been pretty bad people for God to allow that to happen to them. They must have been especially cursed by God. And Jesus answered them, do you think that these Galileans were worse sinners than all other Galileans because they suffered in this way? No, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. In other words, Jesus, look, these kinds of tragic things where we know that God is against murder, the sin of murder, that God judges murderers, that they will be held to account before the Lord. We know that God is good and gives life and redemption. Um, and, and calls us to to uh, support that, to support life as well, um, to protect the lives of our neighbors. Uh, but here he says, all of us, the, the injustice and the sin that we see in the world should drive us to the Lord, recognizing how desperately we need his grace as sinners. And so here's what I can say, I mean, about these things. What we can say definitively is, according to God's word, we do know that God is sovereign and we do know that God is good. We do not fully understand why he allows certain things to take place, but we know that he's revealed in his word that he's against the sin of man and that he will judge it. And so these things that we see, these injustices should drive us to him and to his mercy and should drive us to seek to do whatever we can to uphold 
the life of our neighbor, um, to fight for that. That's just in accordance with God's revealed will, with his law. Um, and so we ought to pray and do everything that we can um, to to ensure to the best of our ability the safety um, and the thriving of the people around us. Thank you for that for that question. And indeed, um, such, such a tragic statistic that you bring up. May God uh, be with us and have mercy upon us.